Good evening, everybody. Good How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Okay, déjenme entrar a todo porque voy terminando una clase empezando la siguiente. Así que vamos a ver dónde estamos. Aquí, ya la vimos. Ok, permítanme solo un momento. Okay, some extra exercises here. Ahí estaba el otro desarmador, mira, para que se lo den al señor, ahí está el fil. Okay, comenzamos entonces. Solamente por acá. Un detallito más. Ok, vamos ahí. Antes de empezar, vamos a tomar asistencia, ¿verdad? Como es costumbre. Ok, um, if you uh, hear your name, please let me know. Comenzamos. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Not here. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Presente. Thank you. Isaac Abdo Adbonay Tobar. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Jennifer Nuset. Arevalo Flores. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Catherine. Catherine Andreina Pérez Cruz. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Bertrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Ahí está activo, pero creo que no tiene señal o no ha encendido el micrófono. Ok, thank you. Present. Ok, thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you very much. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. I'm here. Thank you. José Luis, perdón, Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Thank you. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalva. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. I'm here. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. 
Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrán. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Presente. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. ¿Quién me habló por acá? Perdón, Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok, thank you, thank you. Ok. Uh, Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ok, voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Es, recordemos siempre, si no estamos participando, desactivemos el micrófono, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Isaac Abonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. En el grupo le han escrito. En el chat, perdón. De... Ah, sí, aquí veo chat. Noé Ezequiel dice que aquí está. Vamos a tomar la asistencia de Noé. No es aquí. Thank you. Ok, bueno, ya están todos, excepto algunos no me han contestado, vamos a tomar asistencia al final nuevamente. Insisto en algo, veo que algunos eh, se están conectando solamente con un nombre y un apellido. Eh, es, es, es un requisito conectarse con el nombre completo, ¿verdad? Así que todos revisemos que tengamos nuestro nombre completo. Si están poniendo solo un nombre y un apellido, por favor, hay que cambiarlo porque es para efectos de toma de asistencia por parte de Insaforpa. Así que es muy importante, ¿de acuerdo? Nombre completo todos. Ok, let's do this. This is Inglés Preintermedio, módulo 1. And this, that's me, Van Doñan, at your service once again. And this is Preintermediate 1, session number 2. Today is May the 23rd of 2023. So everybody, welcome once again. Let's do this. Um, Grammar focus, okay? Lo mismo que vimos ayer. Statements with the verb be possessive adjectives. You know, uh, you have I am or I'm from Mexico. You are or you're from Brazil. He is or he is from Japan. She is or she's a new club member. It is or it's an exciting city. We are or we're in the same class. They are or they're my classmates. Ya sabemos que I am, la forma corta es I'm, you are, you're, he is, he is, She is, she is, it is, it's, we are, we're, they are, there. And the possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, it's, our, and there. But I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, it, we, our, they, their. Y resolvimos este ejercicio. No lo vamos a resolver nuevamente, ¿verdad? Porque ya está hecho, ya lo vimos ayer. Choose the correct responses. Vamos a ver acá esto. Say, hi, I'm Nicole. The correct response is, oh, hi, I'm Michael. Aquí están las opciones. Okay. So what about number two? Say, my name is Young Hung Park. ¿Cuál sería la contestación correcta en este caso? Nice to meet you, Young Hung, or let's go and say hello. Which one is correct? Raise your hand, please. Marina. Nice to meet you, Jung Hoon. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Number three. Hello, I'm a new club member. What is the correct reply? Idalia, y luego Marjorie, y luego Miguel, y luego Oscar. 
Mientras no hayan participado, mantengan la mano levantada. Los que ya participamos, ya podemos ir bajando. Ok, so, uh, Marjorie. Uh, welcome. Welcome, ok, yeah, correct, very good. Ok, Miguel Antonio, I'm sorry, what's your name again? Joe King. Joe King, that's correct, very good, thank you. Oscar Alexander, how do you spell your first name? A N T O N I O. Correct. A N T O N I O. Okay, Antonio. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Luis Enrique. Okay. Uh, what do people call you? Everyone calls me Ken. Everyone calls me Ken. Okay. I'm sorry. Everyone calls me Ken. All right. That's it. Good. Uh, me confundí un poquito por un momento porque parece el nombre pero la foto de alguien más <laughs> ahí Luis Enrique uh, I'm sorry okay, it's wife. okay okay your wife okay that's okay um, always remember uh, if possible turn on your camera si es posible recuerden uno de los requisitos es tener la cámara encendida de ser posible verdad okay vamos acá complete the conversation with M are or is only the verb be lisa says who are the men over there amy y amy le dice oh they isaac abdonai abonai perdón a microphone oh there on oh, there is on the volleyball tent okay let's see they they am they are or they is it's all oh, right they are they are. Uh -huh. They are on the volleyball team. Let me introduce you. Hi, Sura, Surakai. Okay, I believe. Creo que así se dice. Hi, Surakai. This, Miguel Antonio. Uh, are? Mm -mm. This, only one person. This. This is Lisa Neal. Okay, that's correct. This is Lisa Neal. Se la está presentando ahí, ¿verdad? Y que dice Surakai, nice to meet you, Lisa. And Lisa says, nice to meet you too. Okay, Marina Maya. Where are you from? Where are you from? That's correct. Very good. And Surakai says, I, raise your hand, please. Idalia y luego Ada Verónica, okay? microphone I am from Thailand I am from Thailand very good Ada Veronica and this is Mario and this is Mario can you finish Ada Veronica he is he is from Brazil he is from Brazil very good okay great tenemos una entrada de chat acá Juan Antonio Brand ya llegó aquí le vamos a poner su asistencia Thank you, Juan Antonio. Okay, Maria Magdalena, do you have a question? Or oh, quiere participar en la siguiente? No. <laughs> no, no, okay. Okay, let's see. All right, let's take a look. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer, answer, perdón, ahí se fue la letras al revés, tendría que ser así, answer. Questions would be using WH question, question words, Sorry about that. What, who, where, when, and how. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de hacer y contestar preguntas usando el verbo be, que es ser o estar, acompañados de pronombres y adverbios interrogativos, que hay aquí en dónde, cuándo y cómo. Ok, veamos. WH questions with the verb be. Ok, ahora, ¿qué vamos a ver acá? Las formas de pregunta, pero específicamente las preguntas abiertas, es decir, uh, WH questions or information questions, se le llama también. Decimos, what's your name? Que sería, what is your name? Okay, what's your name? My name is Beth. Okay, my name's Beth. Permítanme. Okay, thank you. So, where's your friend? Que sería, where is your friend? Okay, he is in class. Whose son he? Es decir, who is son he? She is my classmate. What are your classmates like? ¿Se acuerdan que ayer vimos esta pregunta? Cuando decimos what are, decimos quién y quién y quién, like, nos referimos a una descripción. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. Son muy agradables, ¿verdad? They're very nice. 
where are you and Luisa from? We are from Brazil. And how are your classes? They're really interesting. Okay. Así que, ¿cómo va esto? Sencillo. Usted va a utilizar el, w, el, el uh, WH question uh, o WH word, perdón, que sería what, where, who, uh, how, y luego el verb be. Y luego sigue el resto de la pregunta. Ok, let's see. Complete these questions, then practice with a partner. Hay que leer la respuesta para saber qué pregunta es. Who's that? Oh, that's Miss West. What about number two? Raise your hand. Miguel Antonio. What? What's she from? She's from Miami. Mm, no, it's a bit different. Who? She from? Ok, uh, veamos. Siempre, siempre esperemos a, a que se nos dé la palabra. Veamos. Uh, Marjorie? Microphone? Sorry. Where? Where? Where is she from? Where is she from? Okay, where is or where is she from? Okay, she's from Miami. Okay, Isaac, uh, ad bonai. Okay, pero que me cuesta. So no, suyo. Okay. I said that's okay. Okay, number three. Um, what is her first name? What is her first name? Okay, it's Celia. Okay, thank you, Isaac. Luis Enrique Palma. Okay, number four. Who's? Okay, good. This is just the student over there. Good, but look, the two students. No podemos decir who is. Tendría que ser. Uh, oh, sorry, who are. Mm -hmm. Who are the two yeah. students over there? Who are. Okay, their names are, are Jeremy and Karen. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Antonio Bran, okay. Mira que chiva su casa, Juan Antonio. Me llega. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, nice house, nice house. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fiction only. In fiction. Uh, number five, right? Yes, yes, number five. Uh, where are where are they from? Where are they from? Okay, they're from Vancouver, Canada. Correct. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Uh, they are, uh, no. What are they like? What, what are, are they, they like? That is correct. What are they like? They're shy, but very friendly. Okay, very good, everybody. Okay, perfecto. ¿Qué es esto que acabamos de hacer? Es la parte 1.6, o sea, el video. Ustedes lo van a ver en la plataforma. Y también son las respuestas de la parte 1.7. Es el knowledge check, ¿verdad? Así que el ejercicio viene un poquito diferente, el formato, pero las respuestas son las mismas. Así que aquí lo vamos resolviendo. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? No sé si estoy poniendo muchos ejercicios, pero bueno, ahí vamos. Uh, put the words in order to make questions, then answer the question. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Decimos, who's that? Oh, that's my teacher. Entonces, tenemos name, what's last her. If you put the words in order, you have what's her last name. Luego, her last name is, ya yeah, ya yeah, sería lo demás. Ok, hay que contestarlo, aunque si hay información que no tenemos, no es necesario ponerla. Number two, you have name, her, what's first. What do you have? Luis Enrique, do you want to participate? O le quedó levantada la manita, no sé. A la Verónica. Um, what's, her, what's her first? What's her first name? What's her first name? Okay, good. Y para contestar diríamos. Ada? <laughs> My first name. No, her. Her name. Her first name. My first name. Verónica. Okay, pero veamos, cuidado. La pregunta no es what's your first name. Uh -huh. Es decir, no le están, le están preguntando a usted, pero no por su nombre, sino por el nombre de una tercera. Entonces, what's her first name? Diríamos entonces, her, her, first, uh -huh. her, her first name. Her first name is Melissa. Melissa, ok, ok, very good, thank you. Juan Antonio Brand y luego Idalia Margarita. Number three, from your teacher, where is? Ok. 
Uh, where is your teacher from? Where is your teacher from? And what is the answer? Um, well, he is from El Salvador. <laughs> El Salvador. Okay, so you say my teacher mm -hmm. is from or he is from. Oh, okay. Si fuese una eh, dama, sería her. Sorry, uh, she Pero. is from. Perdón, she is from. Okay, number four. Thank you. Marjorie Mariling. Okay. Class, your how English is. Uh, yeah. How, how your, how your English class, how is your English class? How is your English class? Okay, how is your English class? I'm going to ask you que no le gusta, por <laughs> Uh huh. How is your English class? Uh, my class is nice. You say my class is nice or my English class is nice. Okay. You can say my English class is good. It's good. It's okay. Okay. Etc. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, number five. Classmates, what your are like? Siempre recordemos para participar. Levantemos la mano primero. Muy importante. Okay, number five. Classmates, what you are like? What do you have? A Verónica, no sé si quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada la otra vez. Si le quedó levantada. Okay, Luis Alfredo. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, vamos a ver. What are your... What are your classmates like? What are your classmates like? Uh -huh. yes. ¿Cómo sería ahí? What are your classmates like? Yes. Yes. Sí. Yeah. The, the answer would be? Yes. Okay. Sería ahí, my classmates. Eh, siempre, por favor, si no estamos participando, tengamos el micrófono desactivado, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Hmm? Yes, I like my classmates. Ajá, pero cuidado, porque ahí si decimos, yes, I like my classmates, está contestando un tipo de pregunta diferente. Estas son information questions, es decir, es información eh, bien específica la que tenemos que proporcionar, no una respuesta de sí o no. Por lo tanto, aquí podríamos decir, vamos a ver, Jennifer Nusset, creo que nos quiere ayudar por acá. Sorry, teacher, solo una observación que Dígame. en la 5 dice, eh, donde dice what you ah, ah, y abajo el you. Una razón, falta ahí la, la letra. Thank you. Okay. What are your classmates like? Yeah, thank you very much. Error de dedo ahí. Okay, puede decir usted, por ejemplo, uy, está guardando esto. Okay, ahí va. My classmates, my classmates are smart. My classmates are talkative. My classmates are shy. My classmates are quiet, etc. Okay, porque está lo que necesitan es una descripción de los compañeros. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let me check. What else do we have here? Okay. Narcisio, okay, por el tiempo. Okay, they're my classmates. Okay, and then you have to choose they or their. They're my classmates. Their names are Kate and Noriko. What about number two? You have to choose the correct word at the end. It's in parentheses. Okay, so number two, we're students. Miguel and then Oscar. Or? Our classroom oh. number is 108C. Okay, very good. Thank you. Oscar Alexander, number three. Excuse me. Did you? Uh, can you read the whole sentence? Uh, excuse me. What's your last name? Last name again. What's your last name again? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Isaac Tovar, number four. That's G1. Si se llama. That's G1. Uh, he is in my class. He is in my class. Okay, good. Thank you. Ada Veronica, number five. My name is Elizabeth. Please call me Liz. 
Please call me Liz. Very good. Thank you. Luis Alfredo, number six. This is Paul's wife. This is Paul's wife. Uh, her name is Jennifer. Her name is Jennifer. That's correct. Very good. Number seven, Marjorie. Uh, my parents are on vacation. We are in South Korea. They are in South Korea. Yeah. Very good. Okay, Marina Amaya, number eight. I'm from Venice, Italy. I'm from I'm from Venice, Venice. Italy. Mm -hmm. Venice. Venice. Uh -huh. Venice, Italy. It is a beautiful city. It is a beautiful city. That is correct. Very good. Okay. Everybody, let's go back to this. Snapshot. Greetings from around the world. A little bit of vocabulary. Aquí vamos a ver cómo, ¿verdad? Eh, nos saludamos. Y es vocabulario. First, we have a handshake. Okay, you can see it here. Give someone a hand, okay? And you shake hands, okay? That's a handshake. That can happen in the United States. Now, you have this one, a bow. What's a bow? Okay. That's a bow, you go like this. Then you have this, uh, Miguel Antonio. China? In China, yes. Uh, China, Taiwan, Japan, etc. right? I have Japan, but China, yeah, that's also correct. Very good. The next one is a kiss on the cheek, okay? A kiss on the cheek. Yo siempre llamo eso el beso falso porque nadie se, no, no se, es imposible que dos personas se den un beso en la mejilla al mismo tiempo. <laughs> imposible. Okay, so a kiss on the cheek. Where is that? Mm -hmm. uh, Miguel, do you want to participate? No, or Marilyn, I don't know. France. France, yeah. Many countries, many different countries, okay. France is one, okay. Um, El Salvador too, okay. This is common in El Salvador, okay. Brazil and many countries, okay. So I have Brazil here, okay. Very good. The next one, you have a hug, okay. Where do people give hugs? As a greeting, como saludo, por supuesto, as a greeting. Juan, uh, sorry, Mr. Brown. No problem. Uh, I see so in many countries too. Many countries? Uh, yeah, El Salvador, uh, United States, Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mexico. Because that's... it's a, es un abrazo. Un abrazo, así mm -hmm. es. A hug. Mm -hmm. And then, good, thank you. Then you have a pat on the back, okay? Pat on the back. What about that one? Una palmadita en la espalda. Where do people give pats on the back? No idea? Apparently, this is common in Russia. Hmm? This is common in Russia. So which greetings are typical in your country? Uh, are handshakes typical in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. In formal settings, yes, OK. In escenario formal, sí, verdad? A handshake. Do we bow in El Salvador? No, right? OK, uh, Juan Antonio? Nope. No, we don't. Uh, what about a kiss on the cheek? Is it common in El Salvador? That's very common, OK? OK, tal vez perdió un poquito de... de de fuerza este tipo de saludo con eso de la pandemia, pero, pero en general sí. Ok, a kiss on the cheek, a hug. This is coming in El Salvador too. A pat on the back, not very much. Um, another thing that's very common in El Salvador is, let me show you, is this, a fist bump. What is the meaning of fist bump? Do you know? Uh -huh, that's correct. Okay, that's a fist bump. Mm -hmm. That's very common in El Salvador now. Okay, a fist bump. Es un golpecito de puño, a fist bump. Go like fist bump. Oh, 
Otro podría ser a high five. What's a high five? Okay, yes. A cinco. A cinco. Okay. But in El Salvador, a fist bump is more common than the high five. Okay. But yeah. Yo cuando tengo clases con niños, así virtual, siempre les digo fist bump y les pongo así el puño. Y hacen lo mismo. <laughs> les digo high five y ponen la manita a ellos. Okay. So yeah, fist bump, high five, these are greetings. Okay. Remember the vocabulary. You have a, a handshake, a bow, a kiss on the cheek, a hug, a pat on the back, a fist bump, a high five, etc. Okay, let's continue. Uy. <laughs> okay, so lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with the verb be are introduced. So, in esta complexión, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas donde preguntas y respuestas cortas con el verbo be son presentadas. ¿Cómo va eso? Veamos. Conversation. How's it going? I'm going to play the conversation. I want you to listen to it. Okay. And then we're going to present the grammar. Let's listen. Marina, yes. Uh, the microphone, Marina. I read some he. Ah, okay. 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 Volunteers. Let's listen to it first and then we can play it together. Okay. Let's do it. Me avisan si escuchan. Can you hear that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Great. Thank you. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay. All right. Uh, Marina Maya wants to play son he. Okay. I need uh, a gentleman to play David. Okay. Thank you, Isaac. Start. Please begin. Okay, David. How is it going? How's Fine. it going? Mm -hmm. Fine. That's how are you? Pretty good. So, are you class in interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. 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 Ke ke chemistry. Chemistry. Mm -hmm. Chemistry. Chemistry. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Thank you, Marina and Isaac. Lesson objective by the end of this class, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with the verb be. Al final de esta lección, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas de sí, no, y responder de forma corta con el verbo be. Can you give me just one second? Un segundito, por favor. Thank you. Okay. Grammar focus. Okay, Pablo Josué. Pablo Josué, do you have a question? No. <laughs> okay. So okay. Grammar, okay, grammar focus. Take a look. Yes, no questions and short answers with the verb be. So uh, take a look. You have, are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. There are two ways of doing this. You can say, no, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. Negative, no, it's not, or no, it isn't. Okay, the next one is, are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. And are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. 
No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay. So, ¿cómo es la forma? Si ustedes se fijan, es bien sencillo. Simplemente el sujeto y el verb be cambian de lugar y ya estuvo. Ya no es you are, sino que se vuelve are you. Ya no es David is, sino is David. ¿Verdad? Ya no es uh, Beth's class is, sino is Beth's class. Y así consecutivamente. Así de sencillo. Si comienza directamente con el verb be, entonces es una yes, no question. Es una pregunta de sí o no. Ok, y ahí contestamos. What are you going to do? Take a look. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Ok. Is, is Miss Gray from the United States? Yes, she. ¿Cómo nos quedaría ahí? Yes, she is, teacher. Okay, uh, yeah, correct. Yes, she is. Uh, Marina, can you continue? Es una nueva oración, ¿verdad? Ahí termina la respuesta corta. Yes, she is. Y luego, bla, 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 from Chicago. Marina tiene la respuesta. No. Uh, the microphone, Marina. El micrófono. Sí, la anterior le iba a contestar, pero okay. sigo con la dos, entonces. Eh, sería la segunda parte de la primera, 1B. Yes, she is. Okay. Y empieza una nueva. Yes, yes she is. Uh -huh. Miss, Miss Gray. Miss Gray is from Chicago. Uh -huh. Miss Gray is from Chicago. Pero para no repetir Miss Gray, podemos simplemente decir... She is from Chicago. Uh -huh. She's from Chicago. Okay, very good. Number two. Okay, um, Marjorie. Uh, is English class at uh, okay, and 10 a.m.? Is English class at 10? Okay, and the answer, Marjorie? No, it's at uh, 11. Uh, but first you have to give me a short answer like this. Como esta que están acá. Uh, no, it, uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay. No, it isn't. Y luego? Nueva oración. No, it's, no, it isn't. At uh -huh. 11. Pero si se fija acá hay un, un puntito y luego comienza una oración nueva. Oh. Así como en la primera. Yes, she is. Period. She's from no, Chicago. It no, it isn't. It's at 11. It's at 11. Okay, it's at 11. It is at 11. Good. Maria Magdalena, number three. And, uh, bueno, okay. Number four. Por ahí vi que levantaron la mano, pero. Okay, so. Are you, are you in money? Monica from France. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we are from Paris. We are from Paris. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Luis Enrique Palma, Alvarado, number four. I'm not pretty sure, but I uh, will be... Uh, are Mr. and Mrs. Travers American? Yes. No, they are. Uh, no, they aren't. Mm -hmm. uh, they are Brazilian. They're Brazilian. Correct. Very good. Yep. Okay, great. Exercise B. Answer these questions about yourself. If you answer no, give the correct information. Then ask your partner the questions. Okay. Si su respuesta es negativa, entonces diga la información que es. Ok, eh, veamos acá. Eh, Juan Antonio Brand, do you want to start? Are you from the United States? No, I'm not. Ajá, where are you I'm from? from? I'm from El Salvador. No, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador. Permítanme que... Ah, aquí está. Solo un momento. Pobrecita. 
Ok. Decimos, perdón, acá. No, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador. Ok, El Salvador. Ok, sorry. Once again. Ok, number two. Let's see, who can help us? Is your teacher from Canada? Dar una pista. No, no soy de ahí. <laughs> ok, so, is your teacher from Canada? What do you have? Um... Marina. El micrófono, Marina. Siempre activar. My, my teacher is from El Salvador. Ok, good. Pero eso sería la información verdadera. Para contestar hay que utilizar una short answer, como las que están acá arriba. Por ejemplo, Decimos aquí, is David from Mexico? Si es de ahí, yes, he is. Pero si no, no, he isn't. Así que ahorita hablamos de mí. Decimos, is your teacher from Canada? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Así es. No, he isn't. O oh, no, he's not. Ahora sí me puede decir lo otro. ¿Sería? My teacher is from El Salvador. My teacher is from El Salvador. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. A hundred percent. One echo. <laughs> Number three. Luis Enrique. Okay. Number three. Is your English class in the morning? No, it isn't. No, uh, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is uh, at night. It is at night. Yes. Okay. At 8 p.m. at night. Speaking yep. of which, what time is it? 8.41. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, Luis Alfredo. Thank you, Luis. Uh, Enrique. Correct. Now, Luis Alfredo. The other Luis. Are you and your best friend the same age? Uh, no, we aren't. No, we aren't. Okay. So, what about the information? Yes. Uh -huh. Or yes, we are. Ah, no, hombre, me, me, me ha dicho que no. No, <laughs> okay. yes or no. <laughs> ah, ok, vale, vamos a decir eso. Vamos ahí. Ok, yes, we are, no, we aren't. Ah, yes. si, si me dice, por ejemplo, no, we aren't, ya habría That's que agregar right. información, como decir, por ejemplo, are you and your best friend the same age? No, we aren't. I am, por decir algo, 35 and he is 37, digamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para puntualizar ahí, que no son de la misma edad. Ok, thank you, Luis. Very good. Um, let's see the exercises. What time is it? Ok, let's do it. Grammar note, contractions. Do not use contractions for short answers with yes. Ah, por cierto, esto que acabamos de resolver es el knowledge check 1.12. ¿Verdad? Así que, de nuevo, ya tenemos que ir adelantando con eso. Veamos acá. Do not use contractions for short answers with yes. If you have a short answer, an affirmative short answer, don't, add, don't use a contraction. It's incorrect. Okay? It is incorrect. Uh, all right. Take a look. Are you from Argentina? You say, yes, I am. That is correct. No se puede decir, yes, I'm. Una oración, perdón, una respuesta corta afirmativa no se puede contractar. Si es negativa, sí. Si es afirmativa, no. Así que, are you from Argentina? Yes, I am. Si nosotros regresamos, si usted se fija acá, todas las afirmativas van en forma completa. Solo las negativas son las que sí llevan contracción. María Magdalena. I have a question. Yes. Este, en, en esa que acabamos de resolver está, es, es una tarea, ¿verdad? Pero ahí dice que son respuestas largas. Eh, y la, de la número dos en adelante se considera respuestas largas. Respuestas largas. Ajá, porque están las respuestas cortas y las largas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Las respuestas cortas son estas, ¿verdad? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. La respuesta larga ya sería, por ejemplo, vamos a ver acá. Si alguien le dice a usted. Are you from 
Salvador. Ok. Entonces, la respuesta corta podría ser, hay dos, ¿verdad? La primera, yes, I am. La segunda, no, I am not. Pero luego tenemos la respuesta larga. Si usted le dicen, are you from El Salvador? Usted puede decir, yes, I am from El Salvador. Sí, y en el caso de las que tenemos aquí, donde, donde dice your teacher from Canada, esta es mm -hmm. una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí. Sí, así es, es una respuesta corta. Is your teacher from Canada? No, he isn't. Oh, no, he's not. Ajá, uh -huh. son respuestas cortas. Uh -huh. Si quisiéramos decir la respuesta larga sería, no, my teacher isn't from Canada. O simplemente, no, he isn't from Canada. Y si fuese verdad una dama, no, she isn't from Canada. Esa sería una respuesta larga. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, are you from Argentina? Yes, I am. Y nunca decimos, yes, I'm. Ok. Is he from Greece? Yes, he is. That's correct. Pero nunca decimos, yes, his. Ok. Ahí habría un error. Ok. Um, So Alex says, hello, I'm Alex Lamb, and this is my sister, Amy. Que dice Tina, hi. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, Idalia. Idalia? I am Tina okay. Fernandez. I'm Tina Fernandez. Okay, thank you. Amy says, are you from South America, Tina? And Tina says, yes. Raise your hand, please, if you know the answer. Marjorie and then Juan Carlos. Juan Antonio, perdón. Okay. Yes. Yes, I, I am. Yes, I am. Can you continue, Marjorie? Yes, I am. Uh, you're from Argentina? Mm -hmm. you say, I yes, I am. Y luego, yes, I am. La respuesta larga. Otra vez. I am. I am from Argentina. From Argentina. Ajá. Aquí si ustedes se fijan, la respuesta corta no va contractada, porque es afirmativa. Yes, I am. Pero la respuesta larga, sí, ya no hay problema, puede contractarla. Oh, okay. I'm from okay. Argentina. Where are you and your sister from, Alex? And uh, Alex says, Juan Antonio. Ok. Um, uh, we are from Taiwan. We are from Taiwan. Okay, thank you. Tina asks, are you from Taipei? Okay, and Alex says, who knows the answer, please? ¿Quién conoce ahí la respuesta? Okay, Juan Antonio. No, I'm not. Ah, careful. I am from... Plural, plural. Porque ellos dijeron anteriormente, we are from Taiwan. Entonces Tina le dice, are you, okay, from Taipei? Ok, ok. No, uh, we aren't. No, we aren't. Ok. We are from Tainan. We are from Tainan. Say, are you in class 101? And Tina says, raise your hand, please. Ahora solo Tina, ¿verdad? Okay, Juan Antonio Brand, Mr. Brand. No problem, Brand is okay. Okay, Brand. Uh, Tina, say, no, I'm not. I am in English 102. I'm in English 102. Okay, good, thank you. That is correct, very good. 848, yeah, 848, que rapido. Bueno, vamos acá. There's an exercise, but we're going to skip it because of the time. Okay, word power, hello and goodbye. Okay, adicional. Do you know these expressions? Which ones are hellos and which ones are goodbyes? Complete the chart and add expressions on your own. Okay, entonces, ¿qué tenemos acá? You need to classify the expressions into hello and goodbye. You use some expressions to say hello, you use other expressions to say goodbye. So, for example, you have bye isn't a goodbye category. And hey, 
is in the hello category. Okay, so what about uh, tell me all the hello ones? Okay, solamente dígame por ahorita todas las que van hello. Marjorie. Hi. Hi is one, correct. Another one? Miguel Antonio. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, it's good morning. También dijo hi Marjorie, pero tengo un orden de animación específico y eso sale hasta después, así que no puedo mostrarla aún. Okay, pero sí. Catherine. Andreina. How are you? How are you? Correct. Very good. Luis, Alve Luis Alfredo. Hello. Hello. Okay. Ya tenemos hi. Hello. How are you? Okay. Good. Another one. No. Good night. Bye. How is the going? Okay. How's it going? Okay. Okay. Siempre, siempre levantemos la manita y esperemos a Ah, que se nos sea la palabra. Si no, todos empiezan a hablar al mismo tiempo. Ahorita acaba de pasar. <ríe> ok, Marina. Eh, the microphone, Marina. ¿En bye? No, en... Uh, ah, quiero ver. Todavía falta aquí una. En uh, hello category. How is the boy? How's it going? Ok. How's it going? That's hello. Thank you. Uh, then the goodbye category. You have bye. Oscar Mauricio. Um, see you later. See you later. Correct. Very good. Uh, Bran. Um, um, goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Correct. Very good. Isaac. Um, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, Miguel. See you later. Bueno, la mano. <laughs> Tell me. Good night. Good night. Okay. That's right. Uh, Catherine. Uh, goodbye, Sería también. Have a good day. Have a good day. Correct. Okay. See you later. See you tomorrow. Ya me dijeron también. Ya me lo dijeron todos. You can also say see you. Okay. Todas estas se pueden utilizar. So, to say hello, you say good morning, hello, hi, how are you, how's it going, good afternoon. Y cuando saludamos en la noche decimos, acuérdense, good evening. Ok, good evening. es para saludar. Para good despedirnos evening. es good night. Good night. Ok. Good evening. Uh -huh. Así es. Si usted ya se va a dormir, dice good night. Si ya terminamos la clase, decimos good night. Y así, ¿verdad? Te digo para no confundir que usted no salude diciendo good night, porque good night es, es una despedida, no un saludo. Eh, Bran. Eh, sí, cuando dicen bye bye, o sea, bye es adiós, ¿verdad? O mm -hmm. Bye bye. Algo así. Bye, twice. Bye bye. Bye uh -huh. bye. bye. Goodbye. Es lo mismo. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Totally. Okay, match the greetings with the best response. For example, have a good day. Thank you. You too. What about number two? ¿Qué tal la segunda? Hi, how are you? Isaac, and then Oscar, and then uh, Miguel. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Thank you. Oscar Alexander? See you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Okay, see you. Okay, great. And number four, uh, Miguel, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We're going to do the listening part, okay, in this hello and goodbye section. Vamos a hacer el listening. Listen to the conversations. Déjame ver acá. Bueno, sí. Ahí vamos. Listen to the conversations, complete the information about each person. Okay. What's your last name again? You have first name, Joe, last name, tienen que escribirlo ahí. And where is this person from? Así que si tienen ahí donde anotar, tomen apunta, por favor. Okay, we're going to do the listening part now. Let's listen. One. Joe, this is my friend Linda Tanaka. We're in the same English class. Hi, Linda. I'm Joseph Miller. Everyone calls me Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. And what's your last name again? It's Miller. M-I-L-L-E-R. Where are you from, Joe? 
I'm from here, the United States, originally from Chicago. Wow. How do you like Chicago? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. Two. Okay, Miss Vera. Let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled E-L-L-E-N? No, it's not. My first name is Elena. It's spelled E-L-E-N-A. Okay, thanks. And you're from Chile, right? No, I'm not from Chile. I'm from Mexico. Oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm an engineering student. Engineering. Okay, got it. Three. Say, are you in Suk Kim? Yes, that's right. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me, is Min Ho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in Korea. Oh, he's in Korea. Is he in school there? Yes, he's at Seoul University this semester. Casi no se escucha. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Había. Ok, perdón. Ok, uh, necesitan que vuelva a reproducir el archivo de audio. El último, el inner string, no se okay. escuchó. Ok, vamos. Engineering. Ok, got it. Number three. Three. Say, are you in Suk Kim? Yes, that's right. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me, is Min Ho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in Korea. Oh, he's in Korea. Is he in school there? Yes, he's at Seoul University this semester. Okay, so the first one is first name, Joe, and the last name, Catherine, and then Michael. The last name, the Joe is Miller. Miller, correct, very good, and he's from the United States. Okay, um, okay, Miguel Antonio, number two, first name? Elena. Elena, thank you very much. Bran, where, where is she from? Mexico. Mexico. Okay, good. Next one, Luis Enrique and Marina. Uh, first name is Min Ho and the last name is? Kim. Kim, okay, K-I-M. Kim, good. And Marina, where is he from? Korea. Korea, okay, he's from Korea. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Very good, everybody. Ya es bastante tarde. Vamos a tomar asistencia una vez más. Voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado. Tal vez ya se conectaron a lo largo de la clase. Veamos. Tenemos a Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Presente. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Pre presente. Thank you very much. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. I am here, teacher. Thank you very much. Tell me Alexandra Ramos Cruz. I am here, teacher. Thank you very much. ¿Dónde está? No la escucho. Aquí, aquí, teacher. Tell me. Ah, ya, ya. Sí, ya la vi. Tell me. Thank you, tell me. Ok. Um, ahí están todos ya. <ríe> Qué bueno. Ok. Uh, un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Eh, vayan haciendo todos los ejercicios. Hemos podido avanzar bastante en la unidad 1. Prácticamente lo único que nos hizo falta acá, quiero que lo hagan ustedes por su cuenta, es esto. Um, el reading, que sería Reading Exercise 1.14, el que aparece en la plataforma, el 1.14. Por favor, complétenlo. El día de mañana podemos ver las respuestas directamente, pero necesito que lo completen entre hoy y mañana, ¿verdad? Um, ya mañana entramos ya de, de lleno con la sección número 2. Si es posible, la vamos a cubrir, ¿verdad? El día de mañana y el jueves para salir exactamente eh, según lo que se, se requiere de nosotros, ¿verdad? Para esta semana. Catherine, Andreina. Yes, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Con respecto a la bueno, a las tareas, solo tengo duda con Bien. el punto 12. Bueno, yo no puedo porque no, por si me da como ayuda en la primera para yo seguir en la última, en las demás. Que no logro, no le entiendo cuál es, como cómo contestarlo porque me salen siempre incorrectas. Vamos a ver. En la punto 12. Ya le digo. Sería este. Dice instrucciones, responde estas preguntas sobre usted. Recuerde escribir su respuesta completa, ya sea forma afirmativa o negativa. Permítame. A mí también me sale mal, teacher, por eso. Uh -huh. Hay que escribir respuestas eh, completas. Ok, veamos. Por ejemplo, si decimos long answer, veamos acá, dice, are you from the United States? Entonces aquí habría que decir algo como no. I am not from the United States. Por ejemplo. No, I'm not from the United States. Is your teacher from Canada? Entonces decimos yes. O si fuese en el caso que no es verdad. No. Um, en la segunda. Pueden poner. El problema a veces de, de, de los ejercicios de la plataforma es que ya tienen algunas respuestas que ya están dadas. Y a veces. Eh, si no concuerda exactamente con lo que usted ha escrito, puede ser un puntito, una coma, una palabra que sea ligeramente diferente, entonces ya se las toma como incorrectas. Así que eh, tengan mucho cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en la tercera, is your teacher from Canada? Si usted le pone he, se lo va a tomar malo. Hay que ponerle she. ¿Por qué? Bueno, no sé, así está programada la respuesta. Va en el supuesto de que su maestro no es, no es varón, sino que es una señora, una señorita, ¿verdad? Eh, igual, traten de resolver este ejercicio y mañana, si gustan, podemos echarle un vistazo, ¿verdad? Y vamos a resolverlo juntos. No les digo ahorita porque ya voy a otra clase también de, de inglés corporativo, así que no puedo ya demorarme más. Pero sí, está bien que me lo hayan comentado para el día de mañana, pues, poder ver eso. Ok. Así que... You're welcome. Okay, entonces quedamos así. Everybody, thank you very much and now we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Yes, Bye. Sir.